Hello and welcome to Medieval 2 Total War, a fantastic game from a once great development studio, Creative Assembly, now seemingly crumbling and falling into disarray. It's been a long time coming, but at least we still have the great classics from a bygone era to enjoy. Games such as Medieval 2, of course, as well as its predecessor, Rome 1, probably the high point of the entire franchise. Shogun 2, a diamond in the rough, surprising everyone with how good it was, especially considering its narrower scope than previous iterations, as well as the fact that it was built on the Warscape engine after the complete debacle that was the release of Empire Total War, a game which was rubbish when it first came out and remains fairly rubbish today, even after all of the fixes and even with mods, it really did not live up to expectations. Uh, Napoleon was slightly better, but again, you know, just an iteration essentially on the core premise of Empire. And then of course, as we all know, Creative Assembly doubled down on the Warscape engine with the release of Rome 2, a game which was probably the most disappointing release in Total War history, even to this day, I think, I don't think any game has been more negatively received than Rome 2. Um, to say that it failed to live up to the legacy of Rome 1 is an understatement. The game was a completely buggy, broken mess on release, uh, with numerous bugs, not only on the campaign side of the game, but also the battles and the AI. Uh, and even to this day, it's not really been completely fixed. Most of those surface level bugs have been fixed, but there are a number of outstanding fundamental flaws in the engine, which simply can't be fixed or are too expensive to fix at this point. Um, so there's no impetus to fix them. Uh, as well as a number of design choices which, in my view, were in error and, uh, you know, not consistent with uh, what you would expect uh, for, from a Rome, Rome 2 game if you were a fan of Rome 1. Even with mods, Rome 2, in my opinion, is trash. There are a lot of good Rome 2 mods, and you can have fun with the game from time to time, don't get me wrong. Um, Divide at Impera is fantastic, but there's only so much polishing of a turd that you can do, and it really shouldn't be up to the modders to fix a game um, that, in my opinion, was a complete misstep, and yeah, missed the mark, so, so by such a large margin that, frankly, it deserves to just be relegated to the annals of history and forgotten about. Um, Attila was slightly better. Uh, it fixed a lot of the, well, mm, it fixed some of the problems that were in the, the Rome 2 game and in the engine. Um, it still suffered from the same design faults and flaws in my opinion. Um, and a lot of the fundamental problems with the engine relating to unit to unit combat were still there and still problematic. And to be fair, those sort of persisted throughout the entirety of the Warscape engine. Um, ever since they introduced those 1v1 combat animations, the unit unit formation combat has always been a bit dicey. Units don't seem to have any bite anymore. They just mesh and gel into one another and then break off into their little 1v1 animations. Um, in my opinion, it's a limitation that really should have resulted in a decision of throwing out those 1v1 combat animations, animations and focusing more on the actual mechanics of battles um, and how they feel to play with. But anyway, um, after Attila, CA of course pivoted to the fantasy genre with the release of Warhammer 1 and 2. Those games, surprising everyone, and especially me, were actually quite good. Um, the problems with the engine were still there, of course, but they were far less noticeable, and I think that's because there was a much bigger focus in Warhammer 1 and 2 on using the legendary lords, um, using the single unit monster uh, characters, um, so units with only one entity in them, um, and also a bigger focus on magic. So the fact that your frontline fodder infantry is kind of rubbish and isn't really fun to use or play with is kind of overshadowed by the fact that you've got these awesome monsters and flying units and legendary lords and magic that is a lot of fun to play with and use. And I think that's why Warhammer 1 and 2 gets a better rap than Rome 2 and Attila. Um, after that, of course, you've got all those Saga games. Uh, I don't even want to talk about them. As far as I know, they're all rubbish. I, I have Britannia. Uh, that was a disappointment, remains a disappointment. 
Uh, I didn't bother with Troy, and I didn't bother with Pharaoh, which of course is just a saga title without the word saga in the title. Um, it seems like everyone universally forgot about that one or ignored it. Uh, it's been a complete flop on its release, and that really is no surprise to anyone. Uh, Warhammer 3 I haven't actually picked up, and I was sad to hear that that was also quite a disappointing release. I think it's high time that CA do a bit of restructuring, a bit of introspection, and invest some money in upgrading their engine and resolving a lot of the tech debt. I think uh, they've got a good run out of the Warscape engine for the past decade or so. I think it's time to ditch it, especially considering, in my view, it wasn't fit for purpose from the outset. But Medieval 2 is a hell of a lot of fun, and we're going to jump into Medieval 2 again. It's been a long time since I've played it, uh, probably more than probably more than five or six years, I would say. Um, so it's been a while. Uh, I've set all my options. We're going to jump in here with a new single-player grand campaign. Uh, I was thinking about going to the text file and editing it so I could pick any civilization, but then I was like, ah, no point. I'll probably just pick one of these ones anyway. Um, and I'm not sure. We have a few options. We've got England, France, the Holy Roman Empire, Spain, Venice, Milan, and Scotland. Um, they've all got their you know, pros and cons, strengths and weaknesses. But I think we'll go with England to start off with. Set the difficulty to very hard and battle difficulty as well to very hard. We'll play a long campaign, although if it gets a bit boring and we've sort of snowballed, I'll probably just call it early. Um, and yeah, I'm going to manage all the cities, I'm going to show CPU moves, and I don't want a battle time limit. So for England, we have uh, strengths are that we boast superb longbowmen and strong infantry. Our weaknesses are that we field a poor variety of cavalry. Uh, not necessarily that our cavalry aren't good or strong, just that we don't have a good variety of them. Although I am assuming from memory, and I, sorry, I'm not assuming, I'm recalling that uh, I think France's cavalry is a lot better than ours, and I think a lot of other factions have better cavalry than ours. I can't quite remember, it's been a long time, like I said. So we'll start off as England in 1080 AD. Having recently wrestled control of England from the Saxons, many would expect the conquering Normans to be somewhat spent and weakened. However, the new rulers of England have swiftly replaced and improved the taxation system so as to replenish their coffers in quick time. Most importantly, William the Conqueror came with the support of the Pope, as well as a mixed force of well-trained infantry, archers, and heavy cavalry. England's new masters have a more modern approach to the art of warfare, and the will to utilize the country's rich resources to maximum effect. The English court may now speak French, but the Normans certainly don't consider their new conquest a French territory. This independence in England, plus the proximity of Normandy to other lands the French monarchy consider their own, makes France an immediate and obvious threat to deal with. The ever-stubborn Scottish also prevent the King of England from having uncontested control of the British Isles. Though they presently face trouble on multiple fronts, the English are in a rather promising position. The Scots to the north are isolated from the rest of Europe, and should be easy to wear down without a strong ally from the mainland. The French royal forces are more than a match for the armies in Normandy, but they also have enough fronts to deal with right now that they are unlikely to be able to drive them from the continent anytime soon. Alright, well without further ado, let's jump in and start her up. With the Norman conquest and a crowned king came the dawning of a new era for England. Nobles ordered the construction of mighty castles to fortify the realm. To rule this land is a birthright, but to control it requires the courage and skill few possess. It is a kingdom beset by enemies. The Scots press at its borders, the Vikings to the north, and the French separated by a mere channel of water. All of the country exists in a state of war, as even the common are called upon for duty. In 
these times of total war, it rests on the shoulders of those who lead to ensure the kingdom does not fall into ruin. Summer, 1080 AD. It is more honourable to be raised to a throne than to be born to one. Fortune bestows the one, merit obtains the other. Okay, so here we are, back in Medieval 2. It's been a long time since I've played uh, this game. Probably more than five or six years, maybe longer. Um, but keen to jump back into it. It's uh, a classic, really, and it still holds up quite well today. Um, obviously, the graphics are a little dated, the uh, AI is a bit stupid sometimes, the pathfinding of units is a bit of a pain, uh, but on the whole, I still prefer uh, Medieval 2 and Rome 1 as well uh, to some of the more recent uh, entries into the franchise from Creative Assembly. Um, so, let's uh, take stock of our situation here. So, we've got three settlements at the moment. Nottingham, London, and Cane, or Cayenne, and um, two main adversaries, other than the rebels, uh, and that's uh, France and Scotland. Now, we'll want to take out Scotland, if only to secure the British Isles, and then we can convert any castles here into um, towns or cities, because they'll generate more revenue for us. Um, and then we'll just want to expand and get rid of the French, because they'll be gunning for Cayenne at some point. Um, so to start off, let's move our spy, Richard, who is an adept agent up north to get uh, some line of sight on what the Scots are up to. We could put him in this village, 50% chance of success, which means there's a 50% chance that he'll die. Um, and likewise with uh, spying on the Scottish diplomat here. There's no point in spying on the diplomat other than to try and succeed and increase the skill of our spy. And likewise, there's no point spying on this rebel village because it doesn't have any walls or gates, so there's nothing he can do in there. So let's just move him up north. And we can see that we've got the Scottish faction heir here, Prince Edward, and Edmund Canmore, another family member, and then presumably the king, yep, King Malcolm, is sitting in Edinburgh. Um, we have our own prince, our own faction heir here, Prince Rufus. And we could hire some mercenaries, but I don't think we need them really. Uh, he has some talent for command. He's a promising commander, and he's also the heir apparent. Um, we're going to get him to attack York. To battle it is, then, sire. Uh, we could just siege Prepare it down, wait walls. two turns, um, and then it would be ours without a fight. More than likely they'd sally out on the last turn, though. Um, or we can just assault it, because there's no walls, we don't need siege equipment. We'll certainly assault it, but for now I'm just going to maintain the siege. We have our princess here, Cecilia, who is a natural negotiator with some diplomatic ability, so she's got three charm points. We're going to put her on the boat, and we're going to send her... We'll just send her there. Yeah, we'll just send her there so that she can uh, start making her way down towards the, the Holy Roman Empire uh, and do some Ships diplomacy ready. for us. Uh, we'll put this ship ready, in sir. with um, Admiral Urging Giles the there. Uh, we want at least four of these COG units, I think, before we'll start doing naval engagements with anyone. Um, two isn't enough. Two won't secure a victory. In fact, it might even get you a defeat. So four Four plus is ideal. Um, anything over eight is probably not really required we until we start no seeing day, um, bigger enemy fleets. We're going to move our ships up here just in case the Scots try and move their navy down. Uh, and that's that. For construction in Nottingham, we'll build the dirt roads. So will just improve trade, essentially. I don't know if it improves movement speed. can't quite remember. In London, uh, we're going to bump the tax rate up, and we're going to build a port, which will also improve trade. Um, and we're going to disband these peasants, uh, because I do not want to pay their upkeep. They're pretty rubbish. 
And we're going to move our king, King William the Conqueror, who has a number of cool traits. He's the faction leader, he's a promising commander, he's intelligent, he's a conquering hero, uh, religiously minded, cruel and cunning, and also a cruel leader. So Dread's quite good in this game. Dread, I think, is preferable to Chivalry because Chivalry only buffs the morale of your units, um, whereas Dread debuffs the morale of enemy units. And you already get a buff to your own unit's morale from Command, so doubling down on that with Chivalry is um, not as useful, I think, as Dread. All right, yes. so we're going to move uh, William Sorry. and the Spear Militia. Yeah, we're going to move Order. them out this way. And we're also going to move all of these units out this way. Yes. And we don't March need to worry to about exhaustion. Nottingham, it's not under any direct Continuing threat. Like we have our so Cardinal here, Aston, who has a Divine Connection, Strong Faith, and he's a Cardinal, so he has five points in Piety. We're going to move him down here, so in that he's God's in the name. London region rather than the Nottingham region, um, as this one is slightly less Catholic. It's only 85% Catholic versus 90%. So we'll just sit him there for a while to hopefully uh, spread the good At word. Um, our merchant here, we want to get him over to the wine because it's worth more than um, anything else that's currently in range. Maybe even bringing him back. Yeah, we probably want to bring him back to England, get him out of harm's way, get him sitting on one of these nice trade goods. Um, up there. So maybe we'll do that next turn with the navy. What is this one? Uh, it's not close enough to... I don't have line of sight, so I don't know how much that one will be. Coal's only worth six, sheep's worth four. I think out here makes the most sense. That's a lot more than wine. And if we go down here, the French merchants will come and try to seize all of his assets. It's just a waste of a a merchant then. So let's move him up here On my way. Um, to the coast tomorrow, my and At then we'll get the boats ready, to sire. come and get him. Ooh, if only we had a bit more movement. We almost could have got him in one turn, but that's all right. Sire. Uh, we're going to move our yes, sire. diplomat. Without Where's question, Paris? Sire. There it is. There's Paris. Yes, and we also have, have a French princess there, Constance. Behold, it might be worth. Yeah, it might be worth trying to get some kind of alliance with them. We're going to build levy spearmen, mailed knights, and hobbler in Cayenne, and we're also going to build dirt roads. Um, and in London, we'll just recruit spear militia. In Nottingham, we're going to recruit uh, both cavalry units. Uh, and then Sorry. for these guys, what we're going to do is we're going to send the peasants back to Cayenne, and we're going to disband them. And then we are going to Sire. move. Hmm. My lord. Gonna move you there. Yes, sire. And then we're gonna move My you lord. here. Continuing and then tomorrow, we're gonna recruit sire. mercenaries. Order. And we're gonna besiege. As you wish, sire. And build Bay some besiege, rams. Sire. Your will, sire. And then next turn. Hmm. Sorry. And then next turn just swallowing something I was eating. Next turn, we will uh, combine the armies and um, assault the settlement. They shouldn't sally out against this army. If they do, I might have to break the siege off because I don't think we could beat uh, these five units with just the three spearmen and the peasant archers. Um, Orders. I, can't, I can't move the general further, uh, any further forward, but that should be, that should be fine. Uh, I'll leave these units in Cayenne for the moment, um, or should I, should I bring the archers and spearmen? Yeah, maybe I'll bring, maybe I'll bring the archers and one spearman. Actually, no, I'll leave them there, because once we get these guys, we can move them up towards Bruges or Bruges. Your Majesty. Um, okay, I think that's At all right. Service. Let's. Yes, my lord. Oh, I clicked it with Paris instead of the instead of the princess. That's all right. Let's um, let's just get some payment for trade rights and map information. We'll ask for thirteen hundred florins. See what they say. Yeah, just accepted. Nice. Okay, that's good. 
Uh, I think that's. I think that's everything we can do. Don't think there's any point in recruiting. Oh, we could recruit a ship instead of. Hmm. No, I think we'll go for the land units for the moment. That will be good when we have more. Sire. Um more Order. ports from which to build ships, but Order, that's okay. Alright. I think we're... I think At we're sorted. Let's, um... My Lord. Let's attack your... To war, then, sire. I Don't I wasn't going to forget to attack you. Battle, the victory is twice itself when the Achiever brings home full numbers. Alright, so let's start the deployment. So here's York. Now they're all in the town square. Just thinking what's the best way to attack. I guess from here. This angle's probably the best. So let's set up our spearmen back here. Set up our archers. Yeah, they can stay in skirmish mode and and um, uh, fire at will, that's fine. And we're going to put them here. And we're going to use Prince Rufus, hopefully, as much as we can. Uh, put him like that. Um, because, now I'm going to have to remove them eye, so that moves them on the spot. And then that moves them there. Okay. Was there a way to... Oh, there's no way. No. I'm trying to remember the key combinations. Alt and right mouse button just rotates them on the spot. But what I want is a way to move the formation, like here, but keep the... Keep the, um, the width and the depth of the ranks and just rotate it. Anyway, doesn't matter. Maybe you have to lock the formation then. I think you can only do that when you are grouping more than one unit together. That's alright. So, let's see if we can use our cavalry to get any... And we should be able to get a nice charge in on those units. So, let's go... We want to make sure that our cav don't get stuck. Now, I'm not worried about losing General's bodyguard, because they'll um, respawn at the end of the battle. As long as the general himself doesn't die. He is... Where is he? He's there. He's nice. Right at the front. Which is helpful. I wish he would go at the back. But anyway. Lead from the front. Just speed that up. So. Okay. Now we should be able to get a nice charge in on them. And if we can take out all their archers. Then we can just spend... Um, use our archers to take out all their infantry and it's good night Irene all right let's um let's ch cycle charge in and out I think I think they they broke but let's um see if we can charge back in there. I, I don't even think we need to cycle charge. I think we can just, um... As long as our... Let's just check where our guy is. Where is he? He's over there. Is he bloodied at all? Okay, the spearmen are coming in, so let's get out of there now. We've lost... We've lost only one... Only one guy, so let's, um... Just back out of here. Go back over here. Yeah, we lost one guy to an archer, I think. They are still hitting us. Is our chap bloodied at all? No, he's not bloodied, I don't think so. He's got all this health. So they've got... 82 and 56. Oh, we lost two guys on the way out. That's a shame. Alright, so they should reposition. Looks like they're repositioning up the back. That's okay. We'll just start using our archers then. Probably just should have left my guys in the melee. 
and cleared them up until they routed, but that's alright. Let's move our spearmen up here just so they're a bit closer. We need them. We'll leave you, I think, there, and then we'll put you like that. See how close we can get them. There we go. Now, I'm not too worried about losing peasant archers because um, all of their ammo, uh, their ammo is shared across all units. So we're just fighting archers here, so quite content to we like this, keep we will smash attacking the them with the general's bodyguard here. All of their light infantry and spearmen are more than welcome to just stand at the back there. Okay, now they're running and we need to get out. Out we go. So that significantly um, hampered their fighting capability. We've only lost a handful of general's bodyguard. Uh, the rest we can just take out with archers. So let's get our boys back in there. We'll just take out all the archers there. Okay, now switch to them. Switch to them too. Bodyguard are ready and able to charge into the side if need be. Oh, they're all broken. Okay, that might be an opportunity to actually take them out. Let's cease fire there. If we can reach them before they get back to the town square, which we may. No, no, no. We just didn't. That's alright. Okay, that's fine. We just put our archers back there then. To finish those guys off. Turn on fire at will. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. They'll just back up automatically, thanks to skirmish mode. Okay, we might be able to route them with a charge. Mm, not quite, actually. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh, they're almost dead anyway. Okay, switch to the spearmen. No, no, no. I'm not going to let you attack my general's bodyguard. Okay, they're broken. Uh, will we make it in time? No, I <laughs> got caught on the corner. That's funny. Alright, the rest we can just mop up, I think. But we'll just... Um, Move our archers forward, be back on fire at will, be back on fire at will. Just go hit them. Not many left now. We can just kill them with arrows, we've got enough ammunition. And they're just going to stand there and protect the town square. So this is probably the, the main part where Medieval 2 falls down a little bit compared to its predecessors. The AI is not the most intelligent. We're under attack! There they come. Uh, instantly routed. 
since they left the town square. So they can't route when they're in the town square, they'll just fight to the death, they've got infinite morale. Uh, but as soon as they leave, they can, so... Okay, that's all... That's all our ammo done. What we can do, actually, is we can just set up our guys... Uh, potentially. No, we may not be able to. There we go. Like that. Just move them forward. Move them forward. Now they're shooting directly straight at them rather than arcing the arrows. Well, the front, the guys in the front are anyway. There you go. Have slain the enemy general. Last man standing. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. So we only lost 15 guys and the general's bodyguard will respawn. So, not a concern. Okay, so York is ours. Uh, we could sack Nothing it, it's not really worth it. We'll just occupy it. So we got some trait increases, fear and rule, us, and winning first so they cancel each other out, and then aspiring commander. Very nice. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. Where to, sire? Um, yes. Now next sire. is probably going to be going up to fight Scotland. Uh, do we want to build the wooden palisade and then later convert it to a um a town i think let's do that we'll build the wooden palisade we can convert it later oh no sorry it is a town what am i saying it's a village at the moment we don't want to make it a castle so that's fine My Lord. we're on the right uh, upgrade track okay. there okay uh that all service. looks good to me i think we've done everything we can do uh, just have a look at agents. Yep, moved all of them. Everything's building and... Oh, York's not recruiting, but I don't know if we can actually recruit anything in York. No, we can't. Okay. I think the rest is fine. Order. Your will, sire. We shall continue tomorrow, sire. Sire. I suppose I could move sire. these guys up to the border, but... Don't see the point. Daughter of the Crown. All right. Just speed up the AI turns. And Scotland has an offer. What does Scotland want? They want trade rights, and they're going to give us map information. Well, I don't need map information from Scotland, but I'll give you map information for twelve hundred florins. It's going to say ducats, but it's not EU4. Uh, no, we okay. Um, what about 1100? It seems we'll nice. have little choice but to accept your raw deal. Barely accepted. They weren't happy about that, but that's okay, all right. Farewell. I think barely accepted means there's a smaller margin than just accepted. Now, interesting. They've put their... Um, They've put their guys into an into a, a navy there. Boarded their army, I should say, on ships. Would love to sink their ships because it will just defeat their army instantly. Council wants us to take Kernarvan, however that's pronounced, um, which is fine. That was on our yes, to-do list anyway. The only question yes. is, My Lord. how many? Chaps, do we need By to take command, it? I think we're gonna order. need. I think we're gonna need a few. Orders. Let's Sire. put the cab yes, over sir. there Joining as well. Yes. Um, Rufus will leave where like he is because I leave. just don't know about what they're planning. Aye, sire. Uh, all right. Building wise for Nottingham, let's I think. I think let's build a port as well. Uh, we 
can link you up. We'll take a Rene soon. We've only got one one uh, siege round, unfortunately. At your service. Sire. I'm just in two minds now. I'll certainly send you over this way. On my way. Post haste, sire. A lady needs her rest. Your Majesty. And as far as Paris goes, I don't think it's worth getting an alliance yes, or anything like that. But maybe we can go down to Milan. Without question, sire. Yes, sire. Yeah, I she's could over help there seal still. a stronger liar. I cannot do that, sire. Without question, sire. Units you've got in Edinburgh four. Don't know what units though, sire. but I could put my spy in there. But he'll probably die. With discretion, sire. Oh, he didn't die. Oh well, sorry. I mean, we didn't need to put him in there to see everything. So spear militia, town militia, border horse, and then the king. Perhaps you seek a diplomat. And you've got your one. army up there taking Inverness. Okay, interesting. What else do you have down here? I think that's it. That's all you've got. Now oh, you've got your Cardinal Brian. Brian the Cardinal. Um, okay. Well, that's really all we can do there. We can blockade the rebel port. May as well. I don't know if that gets us anything. Dublin, as we can see, is just a little rebel village full of the Irish. My people. On one side of my family, anyway. Um, oh, we could build ships. Let's build two ships. It costs a lot, but um, we do need a navy. My lord. We do need a navy. We also need. We also need knights. So let's build stables in Cayenne. The rest is all still building, so I think that's all we can do. Recruitment-wise, anything worth considering? Nope. At your service. <sighs> See, there's ready. two options. This one is to attack... Ooh, it's only one. It'd be a 2v1. I don't know if we'd win a 2v1, though. But uh, killing that army... That would be a phenomenal victory. But we need to get our merchant also back to London. Ah, oh, that's a tricky conundrum. I don't I don't know if 2v1 will win. I think 2v1 will still be a, a defeat. I think it's too much of a gamble. Currently we're at peace with them. They may they might go to Nottingham, but they Does won't be able to take like it in fleets, the next turn. An order. So I'm not overly concerned about that. My but Lord. just in case, we'll chuck a yes, spear militia up there just to garrison it. Or ward them off from making that decision, ready. potentially. Um, let's go pick up our merchant. At your service. Heading aboard, unloading my and we'll go and sire. move him over At here. Your and then we'll move our ships back up that way. A fine day to sail. I think that's probably the safest bet. It's too much of a gamble attacking Scotland. Like if we could definitely sink their, their ships, it would be 100% worth it. But I don't think we can. I don't think we need any mercenaries. But uh, we'll see. Okay. Now, we've got some troops here. Sire. My lord. And we have a rebel army there. Me, which we should probably take care of. It's annoying that that popped up, actually. Um, yes, my lord. First, maybe let's take... Orders. Let's take Rene. To war, then, sire. Fight that manually. I shall lead our forces into battle, my lord. Now, I don't think... I don't think these walls have towers with flaming arrows that can destroy the siege ram. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but anyway, we'll see. We will see. You're not going to carry the siege ram, though. You are going to carry the siege ram. You two are going to stay over here, and you're going to siege 
Not the gates, but you're going to do that wall. And you guys can all line up like this. And you can come here. Oh, actually, maybe I should... Should I do the... It's worth more. I think they'll be cheaper to retrain. I'll put the spearmen, the mercenary spearmen behind. Just for the moment. Eventually we'll get them all in Skiltrum. I have a plan. Uh, but let's just wait until their crossbows move. See where they all land. They typically go back to the... Yeah, they're going back to the town center. So let's just let them do that. Moves them away from the walls so nothing fires. And then what we can do is ram that down. And then we can also ram the gate down. And um, potentially set up something. Just move them there for now. them there for now. As in ancient Jericho, the walls fall before the righteous. We'll turn it off. Send our men turn through that to slay our ungodly foe. Um, don't fire it will just yet. Do enable skirmish mode, just for the moment. Pick the ram up again. Ram the gate down. Yep, actually, let's, let's get, let's get you here, please. And make a run for that. In fact, go in Skiltrum mode and just sit, just sit there. And likewise, we'll get you in Skiltrum mode over, over here. Yeah, over there. And our men have reached the gate with a battering ram. Put. Uh, One more there. One more there. It'll make sense why I'm doing it this way. It will make sense. Actually, we'll put the crossbows there. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Um. Yeah. All right. I want to move them there. I want. Uh, actually, let's put all the crossbows there, maybe. Like that. Like that. Put the peasant archers. Like here. You guys can go in Skiltrum too, please. You can just stand right there. Let's get our general up. Alright. So the reason we're setting up our guys in Skiltrum like this is because um, they have no flank. Any cavalry that tries to come through will get caught on one of these units. And our archers and crossbowmen can fire directly through the gate like that. And also directly through this gap like that. And hopefully... Um, hopefully kill these spearmen very quickly. So I'm just going to speed up there. Should filter in. Fantastic. Alright. Fire at will, boys. You as, uh, you as well. Let's look at it from the perspective of these spearmen. Do -do 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 -do. Minding my own business. Just a nice day. Standing guard. Oh, God. So, not all of them are firing directly on the straight and narrow, some of them are arcing their shots. Um, there's not a lot I can do to prevent that. So we've done as much as we can short of moving into the settlement, but that, I think that'll just draw the cavalry through. I was hoping the cav would come down here. Um, 
maybe what we can do is move one unit a bit closer. Like that. go any closer? Can't you go there? Yeah, that's better. Let's see how they do now. Seems to be a bit, little bit more effective. Yeah, more of them are shooting straight. I think that's fine. Uh, getting rid of the spearmen is just good in general anyway. I don't think they've got too many more spearmen. They do have some crossbowmen back in there, I mustn't forget about them. But once this unit breaks, they should send another one down here. Um, yeah, this has been a lot more effective. That should break soon. We've still got plenty of ammo as well. One guy left. Okay, so are they going to send? Are they going to send any cavalry down? They may not. It's fine if they don't. What we'll do is we'll just put a skilltrim there, and we'll put this skilltrim. Yeah, they are. They should come. No, they might not. Let's move them back. Just want to see what they end up doing. They may if they come down here then I can um, charge in with my cav. It's a shame that their cav went up on this side. Alright, well let's uh, put skirmish mode on. Move our crossbows in here. We'll fire it. Well, we should be able to hit the, the, um, the mailed knights all the way from back here. That might draw them towards us. Looks like they're going to fire with the crossbows. Hmm. Not sure how beneficial that engagement is going to be. Maybe we, maybe we pull our knights in. Thing is, I just I know there's more um, spearmen in there. It's the only thing. Let's see if we can get them before they finish reloading. No, no, no! They're gonna charge the cab out, aren't they? It's all right. That might actually bait. Bait them into a better position, maybe, or not really, kind of. Wow, they shot those crossbow bolts far, they hit the... Ah, they do have more spearmen in there. Ah, here they come. No? Too long, I think. Let's um, let's move our crossbows in there. We'll just uh, oh, perfect, coming right to us. We may have to move back soon. Yeah, let's move back. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. That'll finish up one crossbow unit, and we should get the other. Let's see what their knights do. If their knights push in, we'll just retreat. They're just happy to let us slaughter them for the moment. Oh, no, no, don't, don't stop firing, stop firing. 
Okay. Let's just slow down time. I mean, if we engage the mailed knights, like, we'll be fine. We can the enemy just are badly bloodied. run away. They have lost half Where's their our men. general? How's he going? Is he bloodied? I think he is. Let's, um, let's back him up. That last one off. Okay, back out of there now. They just they just sat there and took it like champs. So now what we can do is we can move our Skiltrum um, in here with impunity. There's no no ranged. Um, There, we can put you there. There's like, there's nothing to stop us. And then what we can do is put our bowmen and crossbows like so. We'll put our bowmen here, I think. And we'll put our two crossbow units like that. Get everyone to run. Perfect. Um, now you can just go there, I guess. Go here and fire at will. They should all hit the male knights if some of them hit the spearmen, that's fine as well. Yeah, and they're gonna. Are they gonna charge into the Skiltrum? That is not gonna end well for them. By St. George, our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to yeah, fight. They're all routing. Okay, let's move our Skiltrum up. Looks like they're gonna... The battle is Might very be much better in our to favor. break Skiltrum now and just and attack. Fast, victory will be ours. There we go. We'll just end the battle. Clear victory. Very nice. So I managed to route the last two units at the same time, so the battle just ended. Um, that was one benefit of fighting outside of the town square. Perfect. 1300. Yeah, let's do it. Need the money. It is a short-term gain at the expense of a long-term gain because you do lose population but it will make the public order a little bit easier to manage i can jack the taxation rate up we'll repair the walls and we'll build the roads and i can't do anything else oh i can retrain yeah i may as well it's not very expensive veteran warrior and plus one dread for robert very good. An order. Sire. All right. What else is on the agenda now? I don't want to stay here. Ultimately, I'm just. Are we going to be able to get back up Command to me, Bruges sire. in time Orders. Orders. to do anything, or should I go and attack the French down in uh, Angers, or should I go down to Bordeaux? That'd be three, not including this turn, it'd be three turns to get down Bordeaux like there or something, somewhere in this vicinity. It's only two turns to get to Bruges. Be two turns to get to... Let's go here and let's just scout out and see what they're them, doing. Sire, okay. But the men are spent. So we could. My king. Oh, oh. Tired of ordering your own forces Don't now? have enough movement. Orders, my lord. If we attacked Do with I few enough troops, we could draw both of them in, wipe out both armies, and capture Angers all in one turn. But I don't think we'll be able to do that. 
I just realized we're not going to be retraining the crossbows on, anymore, but that's all right. Um, what we could do is attack I will only address you in battle. this guy. I don't think... We, I think we could probably My do it Lord. with just the cavalry, but... Um, I should drop a save as well. Just conscious that I haven't saved. Just save as England. Um, let me just make sure I've done everything else yes, that I wanted to do. At your service. Your building, your building, your building. Building, building, yeah, okay. Order. You're sitting there and you're... An there. Order. You can just Sire. stay there. Okay, I think that's all. My lord. All yes, in order. My lord. Your majesty. Uh, do I want to... Tomorrow's journey planned Forget out. Forget it. Just keep going. Tomorrow's journey planned out. out sire. the HRE. I cannot do that, sire. Just sire. weighing up how many Come I should attack me, them with. Coward. Um, if I attack with too many, I'll just retreat. Only They've only got three units, battle. so maybe we just attack with four. My lord. Levy spearmen, archers, the two horses. Marching to yeah. So what do they have? They've got. Peasant archers, sergeant spearmen, and armored sergeants. The armored sergeants could be a problem. I think we can, I think we can, with the cavalry, bait the uh, spearmen away from the archers, take out the archers, and then use our own archers to take out the spearmen, or alternatively, use our second set of cavalry to um, enter after we get battle. them exhausted. We should be able to win this. Yeah, it's possible we might even get a man of the hour from this battle. We'll see. I think we've got less family members than settlements, so... It's hypothetically possible. Chuck our... Let's put our spearmen... Yeah, we'll put our spearmen and archers in the back here. And we'll keep the uh, second set of cavalry in reserve over here. First set of cavalry cannot... Um, can't really do anything with them. Can't hide them, sorry. Just because... Just because of... Uh, the fact that they've got a captain. You, can, you can't hide your generals in forests in Medieval 2. Which I always thought was a bit weird. Doesn't really make much sense. We're going to move our cab over there. Uh, actually, we'll put our other cab over here. That might cause the AI to freak out a bit and split its spearmen up. The thing I love about Medieval 2 is the maps are so nice. They're, they're like so big. Nice, big, flat maps. Not many obstructions. Um, yeah, always good. I, you know, I would have liked them to even increase the size of the Medieval 2 maps by like, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 percent. And then, um, um, and then add more obstructions in the maps, like natural, um, yeah, natural, uh, gullies and cliffs and valleys, like places where you could hold down a, a defensive position, you know? So they're, they're getting a little bit confused as to what they want to do. Um, which is fine by me. So I think we can... If we make a maneuver like this, I think we should be able to draw the spearmen to attacking. Let's do this at two speed. at all. We can keep, we can kind of herd them away. Yeah, that's what we're doing now. Perfect. That's fine. Because they're in skirmish mode, so if we get close to them, they want to keep firing, so they'll keep moving away. Just need to be mindful of the... Come on. Come on. Press onward and break the spirit ice in jaw. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, that's victory good. will be ours. That's good. That's very good. That's very lucky, actually. Okay, 
just keep going over there. The only thing about Medieval 2 is the, the cavalry is very sluggish. What we can do now is move our units up. Run, 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 run. Yeah, they're very determined to just hold the defensive position, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Can um, can work with that. Just move our spearmen here. Maybe there. Put our archers just in front of them. Turn off fire at will until we get in position. Just want to keep them kind of in this position. You know what, let's just um, halt there. You guys can just get in range. And wherever they stop, I'll just bring the infantry up. I feel like they're going to stop just ahead of there, so let's move there. Fire will. Must be quite intimidating to be a spearman and have these cavalry just sitting watching you <laughs> on your flanks. <laughs> Pretty sure if this were a situation in real life, um, these guys would just all surrender. Okay, I've got to bring my spearmen further forward, obviously. Why are they, why are they going so far forward? They do not need to be that close. Let's move them here. Spim in there. Surely they don't need to be that close to shoot. We go for the armored sergeants first. Alright, should be in range now. So now they'll shoot. Let's see who they go for. I reckon they'll go for the armored sergeants first. But let's see. Yeah. I thought so. Let's see how much damage they'll be willing to take. We may as well use up all our ammunition, so. They're happy to sit there. We could potentially even get out cavalry to cause them to turn around. I don't think they'll do that though. I don't think they'll face shields the other way. Oh no. Some of them are facing their rear. That's enough of that unit. Let's hit that unit now. You know what? Let's just... Um, Charge those guys forward. Firing on them, please turn off skirmish right now. Let's get our cav over there. So they can charge into the back. And 
that should yep that routes that unit perfect the enemy are badly yeah. bloody our men are winning the battle i think they'll route continue completely like this, now if we, we get a charge the in the enemy. rear oh no not quite actually we charge the, there we go okay perfect. now we lost a few it's time to press the cab on that charge but that's all right they were close enough, so it's fine. Oh, stop shooting your arrows, you're hitting our friendlies. Let's just uh, run them down. Just for fun. We're gonna make it! We're gonna make it! You're not gonna make it. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This is a great victory worthy right. of only the mightiest of generals. Well, let's see if we get a man of the hour. It's it's possible. I think. I could be wrong. The day is ours, sire. Ah, oh, no man of the hour. Guess we have to take Paris then. Yeah, we absolutely My probably king. could. Alright, um, what do we do with this army? Let's move it up here. As you wish. That Command army will come me, and sir. join it next turn, but I think we're, At your we're good. Service. On to turn three. Let's see what these Scots do with that navy. Oh, they lost at Inverness. Interesting. Okay, they've come all the way down. Did I build my ships? Oh, I hope I built my ships. Please tell me I built... I did. I built the ships. So what we can do is we can go there, yes, sir. Full and we can go here, and I think we should be able to maybe sink them in one shot. Relations have worsened with Scotland, no surprise at all. Um, do we risk spying on the Cardinal to increase our spies ability? I think not. I think we'll leave it. Okay, so in Rane, let's build the grain exchange for more moolah. We'll do the town watch one An next. Do, I remind <sighs> you of do we? No, I don't think we do. Let's not tick the French off just yet. As much as I'd love to. Move. Yes. Sire. Mm, that's too many for us to. My king. If we besiege with this, they'll certainly sally out. I don't think we could defeat that with um, an order, sire. With just these guys, we need the full army together. Um, we'll build another ship and another Command, recruit there. Lord. I'll just put ourselves. Just go next to it. Yes, sire. Just marking our territory. Uh. Can you go here? On my way. Here? Post no. haste, sire. Your order. Hey, we're sire. going down to Milan with this guy. That's yes, right. Sire. Okay, that's still a rebel town, Dijon. She's Behold, still on her way down there as well. French beauty. London. Let's build. Yeah, let's build the mines. It's worth, I think, the investment. But we can't really build much else anyway. Um. So may as well get those mines in. Ooh. Although it would be good to build. Maybe let's not build that extra ship. Let's just build roads there instead in York. Yes. And yeah, let's siege now. Carnaval. They wish they'd never been born, sire. Besieging and we'll the cowards, my Put our army sire. together. Armies, my lord. An order. Actually, we, we should shall probably get slaughter them, my lord. Um, just thinking. Two rams. Is that overkill? What walls do they have? Reinforced gates. Which upgrade is that? Patiently awaiting to breach and butcher, sire. Where's the construction? Reinforce gates. Reinforce 
Wolf's Gates. Okay, so it's this one. So they can man the walls. Which could be a problem. Okay. Me, what do they have in here? I still can't yes, see inside. Sir. Moving to crush the enemy. Patiently awaiting to breach and butcher, sir. Okay, I think let's build never been born, sir. two rams, one Wet set of ladders. Is a safe bet, I think. An order. Um, is that everything? I think that's everything we can do. Except attack Scotland, of course. Which is on the agenda. Because as soon as we take this, there's no more rebel territory down here. Oh, I forgot At to move our merchant. Uh, we'll just move him there. On my way. And then next yes, turn we'll move him there. We'll start sending these to England at once. Let's drop a save on England as well. All right, let's see how we go with this. And the and Clear victory. We didn't sink it, which is a shame. He, he went off up this way. Sire. So let's see. Um, a fine day to sail. Let's see if we can chase Scotland it down and, and finish the job. Wise, We've still got most of our ships. I'm glad I went for four. Before we attacked him, uh, anything less would not have been a success. Maybe three would have worked, but I think two would have been a defeat. I don't think we can do anything else this yes, turn. I think we just have to wait. We're out of movement, we can't fight any battles. Um, could besiege there. I don't think it's worth the risk, though. Let's just let's just end the turn. Well, we're at war with Scotland. Um, and we might be able to wipe them out. They haven't actually taken any other territory, so if we can uh, if we can get rid of that. Yeah, there they are. Quit that, you damn schooner! Yes, Preparing to board and engage the Did we sink them that time? Victory is ours, sire. I don't know if we did sink them that time. Can you not tell friend from that one I'm not sure on. Scotland oh no, they... Oh, they put their other army on boats as well. Oh, Scotland. You're trying to sacrifice all your men. Uh, I don't know if he died. Don't know if he died. We, we won the battle. Just not sure if they, um... They perished or not. Alright. What else do we want to build? Yeah, probably land clearance, but is that a priority? Probably not. Um, mailed knights would be good. And we need more cavalry down Come here, because we've got sire. none, so let's build them there. Actually, we can build them in both. Oh no, 680, we don't have enough. We can build hobblers. Yes. But, um... Mm. Maybe better to get some money-making buildings on the go. An order. Still don't have enough movement. Just have to As go you for command. it. Orders. Yes. As you wish. Move him March there next to turn. Exhaustion, sire. Continuing later. God's servant. And you At can go service. there now. Set Opening up on the mines. Yes, your highness. Command me, sire. Kay. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Patiently awaiting to Where to, sire? I sire. Challenge me for these waters. Sire. Screw you. Maybe we can find some uh Most haste, sire. On my way. Yes. Yep, Danish princess, we could speak to her. Your Majesty. Without question, sire. Yes, sire. French princess again. I could help seal a strong alliance between our people. I could marry her off to my heir and get an alliance with France. How may I help you, seigneur? Demanding. I thought it might be. What if I offer map information? Would you pay me for it? It's updated. This is brand new updated map information. No, I don't think they want to do business with us. Relations are poor. 
without Let's question, keep going down to Milan, then. I cannot do that, sire. Um, I think that's all we can do. My lord. Yes. Other than uh, win this battle. They wish they'd never been born, sire. Just gonna drop another save. Patiently awaiting to breach and butcher, sire. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Let's see how we go. <sighs> Balance of power is fairly even. What do they have? Ooh. Welsh longbowmen are, you know, they're decent. They are decent. Peasants. Welsh spearmen. Okay, all right. Let's There'll fight. No escaping fight us the now. battle on the map. Attack! Now we need to win this without taking many casualties, um, because I need. I need the troops, frankly. I need the troops. I've got a few options. Obviously, battering through those gates is one option, but we could come in through these gates at the back. do need to get in the gates. That's imperative. And we need to get in melee because we don't have a lot of um, we don't have a lot of archers to compete with them. I think we're going to need to see if we can split their archers up and confuse them. So let's put some cavalry over there. Keep our general, yeah, we'll put our general over there. We'll put some spearmen also over there. And, yeah, you'll drop that. You can grab that. You can go for the front gate, but I'm going to sit you back a bit just to see what they do. And you're going to go around the side. And you can stand back here. Let's see where they set up. And you're going to go all the way around the back. It's going to take you a while, but yeah, see, I want to get the Welsh longbowmen off the walls and away from the walls so that we can batter the gate down in relative peace. Either gate, doesn't matter which, just need to get them off the walls and on the ground. So let's just see how it all pans out. that way. They won't be able to defend, I mean, well, a, a player, a human player would, would be able to defend, but the AI will not be able to defend both, um, both gates at once. So we'll, we'll knock one of them down. The reason that we want two rams as well is that, uh, if they shoot flaming arrows and the towers shoot flaming arrows, they might set the ram on fire. Which would be bad, because then we wouldn't be able to batter down the gate, and we've only got one set of ladders to get up the walls, and even if we could get some infantry on the walls, um, they would get shot by the Welsh longbowmen, and Welsh longbowmen are no joke. And they're not as good as English longbowmen, but they're still decent. Compared to peasant archers. Let's 
move a bit closer. Oh, where are they going? Sending light infantry this way. And they're sending... Spim in that way. Okay. Let's just go for it then. See which one breaks through first. Okay, so they are shooting dams. The other reason was I wanted them away from uh, the gates so that the towers won't shoot the flaming arrows. There's nothing we can do about that. Just have to hope that one of our rams survives. Let's start, let's move our general back over here. Oh, they opened the gate. Oh, that is that is very surprising. Uh, they did it on both sides. Well, that has really actually <laughs> has changed my plans. That has kind of screwed my plans, actually. Is this light infantry? That's that's spearmen. This is only. Light infantry and longbowmen. Let's just charge through then. They can't get through because the ram's blocking it. Oh, I feel like I've been screwed by by that. And the longbowmen are gonna they're gonna do a lot of damage from up there. Just brute force through, we just have to get through. Just have to get through there. That is the only way, just get through the gate. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. All right, I think we got, we got lucky. We got very lucky. The Lord is with us today. We've captured the enemy's walls. That we managed to brute force through that. We can just take out the, the longbowmen and the peasants. That's no big deal. You guys go there. Is very much in our favor. Come on. Oh my god. Pathfinding. He's just running out. through the... <laughs> running through the... Um, let's just get him out of there. That's too much of a risk at the moment. Oh, man, so much of our cavalry died to the longbowmen. Lord, only half our force remains. Well, there goes the. the enemy general oh, that's good. Only half the enemy force remains. But now I'm stuck in the, the bloody combat animation. Don't lose the male knights. My lord, we've lost control of the castle. Yep, push forward, push forward, push forward. They're long moment. Bloody deadly. Ooh. 
have to be careful of the bloody spearmen. That's alright, this is working. The cycle charging. I think we'll win this, but that was a lot more costly than I had hoped. I really did not expect them to come through the gates. Kudos to the AI on that one. That was unexpected. Oh, our units are routing. Probably getting a bit of friendly fire in. Alright, let's just finish them off. Uh, you finish that one, sorry. The Lord, the battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Come on, finish finish off the Welsh longbowmen. Goodness gracious me. What a slaughter. I think that's it. I think it's just those two left. The enemy army flees the there we go, we that's fine, that'll do. Well, Our average victory is about right. Um, well I probably should have slowed down the speed, but I kind of wanted to wrap the battle up as well. Anyway, still a win. At least we can convalesce in the Such castle. The uh, yeah, we'll certainly sack it. Victory! Uh, oh, we can retrain the Hovelars. That's good. Us, we didn't lose any units. Just lost um, manpower, really, that's all. So we can get the Hobbelars back up to full strength. We can build the dirt roads. Mission success. So we got four units of mailed knights in the capital. Totally worth it. These will help a hell of a lot against, uh, against Scotland. And William's now an aspiring commander. Believe it or not, William the Conqueror, an aspiring commander. My king, sire, orders. Alright, um, I think that's everything we can do. We don't have money for anything else. So, I think we'll, I think we'll leave it there. Um, unless, should we build Hobbelars here? We don't have a lot of cavalry on the mainland. Yeah, let's do it. More units. More units is always good. I'm going to end the turn. And just see what happens. Of course, it's always the way, you know. One more turn, one more turn. I think we did sink that Scottish ship. I don't see them anywhere. Oh, cease hostilities. No, I don't want to be excommunicated. Seven turns. Send an emissary to the HRE. I really wanted to sink that other... Scottish Navy, but it looks like it's disappeared. Fleet ready, sire. Stud that you oh, did the pirates get them? Yes, sir. I think the pirates. Maybe the pirates got them. A fine Let's day just go back to, to the docks. We'll need to retrain those ships yes, anyway. By your command. And we will cease hostilities against Scotland by going and taking Inverness, probably. Sire. Um down here, yet we'll retrain the mailed knights, An order. and we will leave Orders, my lord. just Orders. the 29 we'll in Carnival. The rest we will no send up today. to York. We'll stop here. At your What's service. worth 19? What's iron worth 18? God's servant. Okay, we have enough yes. now. We're take Bruges. Combining an order. Yes, sire. Moving to crush the enemy. They're dead once we breach the walls, sire. Yeah, we'll just Patiently do that. Patiently awaiting to breach and butcher, sire. Command me, sire. Orders. Send the cab up there as well. Our forces are well hidden. Uh, no, I'm not going to bother with a merchant, but yeah, let's get land clearance. Should yes, I get that in London? Thanks. Let's get it in London. Drop the tax rate down. 
get in London, yeah. Uh, and let's retrain one unit. At your service. That's pretty much all set. We're the largest faction, apparently. That's good. Yes, my lord. Yes, sire. Ah, Milanese army. Great. Is there something I can do Map information, for trade rights. Give me... 1,200 ducats. We accept nice. This proposal. Oh. This concludes our meeting. That's really yes. good. We'll go down to Venice next. Without question, sire. And sire, I think if we follow... On my way. Should be a city somewhere here. Crap, it must be down there. Yes. Ah, uh, I should have gone that way first. Now, Bugger. I am ready to approach. That's all right. Um, am next I turn we'll, we'll do heads? that. My lord. I don't know where that Danish um, diplomat went, but anyway. An order. So we've got enough money. We can get. I think we need to get more economic buildings going. We do also need to retrain them. But let's focus on the economic buildings first. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. We'll get Town Watch. Oh, we'll get Land Clearance. Get land Clearance. And we'll get Land Clearance as well, I think. There as well. I won't worry about retraining the ships. ships I think ready. they've done their work. Um, Scotland is completely neutered at the moment. Have a so for you here, unfortunately, Jimmy. we have to wait for them. Um, well, we can bait them I'll into attacking us. And, and then I think that might um, allow us to attack them back. Too, so we might see what we can do on that front. 90% chance. Let's... Um, Let's do that, just to try and get more traits for him. It's the only reason. At your service. Tin mine. That's what it is. Tin. Your okay. Orders, sire. Command You've me, moved. Sire. Aye, sire. You've moved. My king. Um. Do I try and bait? I'm only here to fight the Yagaloot. Yes. Do I try and bait them this turn? Let's see. We'll stop here. An order. I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck. I'm what only here to there. fight, the... sire. What do they have? I'll rip off Spin your head and town spit militia. down your neck. Yeah. So this would be enough yes. to take out any any army, pretty much. Sire. Orders. Not any army. Any of what they can field, because all they've got is town militia. The spear militia are the only ones that are really kind of uh, a problem. Um, Where to, sire? Command me, sire. All my agents my have moved. Sire. At your service. Yes, my lord. God's servant. Eighty-five percent. Ninety, ninety. What are we at here now? Eighty-eight. So we'll want to get over to Bruges later because it's only at eighty. An order, fleet ready. Yes, my king, sire. Yeah, I think we've done everything we can do. An order. They wish they'd never been born. I will end this turn. Getting sucked in now. Getting sucked into the one more turn policy. Ah, so the Scottish ships are just running up and down north and south. Ooh, he's pretty good. Brave, skilled bureaucrat, smart, promising commander, very loyal and fair fighter. But he is 51 years old, so we wouldn't have him for very long. And I need Cecilia to um, do diplomacy with the, the Danish and the... The Germans. Your orders, sire. Yes, sire. 
Where is that French princess Without again? Question, There's Milan. Yes, but where sire. is Venice? Then Without we go way over question, here, I guess. Sire. I cannot do that, sire. Okay, York has their grain exchange done. I think land clearance then at York is the way to go. You can uh command me, sire. You can leave. Marching, sire. We go yes. Go link up there. Camp here, sire. My lord. And what we'll do actually sire. is we'll Orders. Send the command. rest of our troops to, to join sire. King William. Later. Um Aye, sire. I'm gonna leave them in the fort for the moment. Sire. Link the cavalry up. We could even get Antwerp potentially. Which would be good. Oh, we can upgrade that to a castle. Very Orders. nice. That's even after sacking it as well. Yeah, let's retrain that ship. At may as well. Service. God, he's terrible. Anyway, at least he'll get a guaranteed income there and not die. Where to, so they put everyone back in the capital. Um, yes. Which is a shame. Because I can't do anything against them for six more turns. Uh, we could go and take Inverness Command though, me, and maybe that's what we'll do with King William's army. Sire. Orders. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, we might leave it there for the moment. Okay. Next episode we'll yes, assault sire. Bruges and capture that settlement. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Let's do the diplomacy Daughter stuff the first. Uh, let's go there. Haste, yeah, okay, sire. so Frankfurt's there. I thought there was a city there, but I just wasn't sure because I saw the river crossing. Um, I guess we should... Uh, we've still got four turns to do that. Let's... Let's speak to the Danish princess honor, first. How may I help you? And do we want an alliance with them? No. That's a bit demanding anyway. We'll give them trade rights, we'll give them map information, we'll ask for twelve hundred florins. Do not think yep, my people nice. goodbye. Twelve hundred seems to be the sweet spot. At least at the start Your of the Majesty. game. Um, and that actually gives us a bit more to work with in terms of construction. Let's focus on the British Isles before we focus on the French holdings. Yeah, we'll build land clearance there. Should we build a mustering hall? No, we'll do land clearance. That'll get us more money. Uh, we'll build another merchant from... Uh, is it worth it though? For 19 ducats, you know? a turn. It's going to take a lot of turns to recoup that. I don't think it's worth it on second thought. There's other things we could build that are more worthwhile. Um, cavalry units. Could retrain the ships. Potentially. I think let's um let's do land clearance then in the one settlement we haven't done it in, which is Kyan, I think. Yeah. Alright. Drop a save here next time. We will uh, pick it up from here and we'll take Bruges. And then uh, I guess we'll take Antwerp next and just wait out our little truce thing with the Scots. Hopefully they'll... Hopefully they'll um, take the bait, maybe, and attack attack Prince Rufus, but we'll see. See what they do. My Lord, my King okay, sire. thanks for joining me. I will catch you all in the next one. As always, take care and have fun.